everyone welcome to sql problem solving series so into this video we'll be solving one of the interesting problem onto the lead code let us quickly look at what the problem is saying so write a sql query to find all numbers that appear at least three times consecutively so you can see here we have the input table named as logs into first column we have the id into the second column we have some numbers present and we need to write a sql query to find all the numbers that appear at least three times consecutively as you can see here and we need to return the result in any order so this is a kind of medium level problem let us see how to solve this particular problem with the help of sql functions this formulate a logic to solve this particular problem with the help of the lead function which is present in SQL. So to demonstrate this particular solution and make you understand it into a proper way, I've just copy pasted the data into the Excel sheet. So with the help of the lead function, we will be creating a new column here. Let us rename this column as NC1 new column 1. Also we'll be creating a new column which is new column 2 now why we are creating this we'll be using the lead function for each and every row of data which is present here into this particular table and we'll be trying to get the next row value corresponding to the particular cell for example for this particular row if i applied the lead function into the num column the second column in which the numbers are present and if i want to get the value or the number which is present just to the next row of the present row so for example for this particular row the number which is present into the next row is one so one would come up here similarly for this particular row the number which is present into the next row is one so this one would come up here if we take this particular row the number which is present into the next row is two so this two would come up here similarly for the other cases the next row numbers would come up if we use the lead function here so friends this is the formulation of the new column similarly into the new column 2 we will do something else now what we'll need to do here we will try to get the number which is present into the second row from the current row for example if we take into account this particular row the number which is present into the second row from the current row so one is present as you can see so we'll just write here one for this particular cell the number which is present into the second row from the current row so this two would come up here because one two and into the second row from the current row which we are operating on two is present so two would come up here similarly for this particular cell one would come up because one is present into the second row from the current row in which we are operating currently so one would come up here so for this particular cell two would come up for this particular cell two would come up again now so for this particular cell no values present into the second row because it is you can see this is empty so this would be vacant so friends after we have created these two new columns with the help of the lead function we'll be up applying a logic and the logic will be something like where num would be equal to nc1 and would be equal to nc2 to return that particular row and return that particular number so you can just see only for the very first row this condition is successful so num should be equal to nc1 is equal to nc2 so this particular logic will be applying and we'll be trying to find the answer to this particular problem which you can see here let us start writing the query so i'll just write here select star comma lead so lead of what so we were doing lead of number and over we need to provide how do we need to order our data so order by id into the ascending order so this is the very first column let us rename this column as new column one similarly the second column which we need to create with the help of the lead function is lead num and which is the row value which you want to get from the current row so from the excel sheet example if you would have remembered we needed to get the second row value from the current row so that is how the nc2 was formed so we need to write here too because we want to get the second row value the same thing order by 
ID and this particular column name will give it as NC2 from logs. So a table is created now. We'll just keep this into a subquery again and we'll only filter out the data points where the following conditions are met. What are these conditions? Where num is equal to let's say nc1 and nc1 is equal to nc2 so these two conditions should be met so friends let us quickly run the code now before that we need to change the column name here so I'll just copy this particular thing and paste it here let us quickly run the code. Let's see if we are getting the correct output or not. And as you can see, we are getting the correct answer. So we have solved this particular problem with the help of the lead function. And we are getting the number which is occurring three times consecutively. Let us solve one more interesting problem. This is onto the rank function. It is quite simple. So you can see here we are having an input table into the first column. We have the ID into the second column. We have the scores. So we need to write a SQL query to rank the scores. The ranking should be calculated according to the following rules. So they have provided certain rules and we need to imply by the rules which they have provided. The very first rule is the scores should be ranked from highest to the lowest. Now if you know the rank function there are three different kind of rank function i have made a detailed video on all the three different rank functions the very first is simple rank function the second one is dense rank the third is the row number now we need to choose which particular rank function will be applying here and that would totally depend on the conditions they have provided so let's quickly go through the rest two conditions so the second condition says if there is a tie between two scores both should have the same ranking and the third condition it says after a tie the next ranking should be the next consecutive integer value in other words there should be no holes between ranks so if you remember this condition will be fulfilled only when we are using the dense rank function and not the simple rank function so friends this is super simple we'll just use the select score comma rank over order by order by what so on what column do we need to provide the ranking so we need to provide the ranking onto the basis of the score column and also from the very first condition you can see the score should be ranked from highest to lowest so we are just applying here the descending condition what should be the rank column be renamed so this should be renamed as rank also this should be dense rank as we just discussed from what's the table name so the table name is scores and let us put this into codes and we'll just execute the query after this so friends you can see we've got the correct answer in this problem we solved using the dense rank function so friends i hope you had found this video quite informational and useful so do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye